So I, I've been a network professional for a long time um, before cybersecurity. So I did have a really good networking background, but I wanted to really investigate more about uh, network defenses capabilities. And although I've been in the field for a long time, as I said, there were some areas in the table of contents of this exam that I really thought, well, why not um, learn more about those things and also validate some of the things that I knew. That was uh, number one. Uh, number two is I'm a professor at uh, EC Consul University. Um, so it was very important to me to get the certification so that I could also teach to my students. Well, one of the career goals, as I mentioned, it was to be able uh, to deliver uh, the network defense class, uh, to be certified, to validate my knowledge. So that was one goal. The other goal, as I said, it, it, it really to validate uh, some of the theory that I knew, but I also want to expand my knowledge. So there was a professional goal towards being able to teach that class, but also the knowledge goal to not only expand my knowledge in this area, but also to validate some of the hypotheses and some of the scenarios that I live uh, throughout my career. Well, uh, the certification is really uh, an eye opener uh, when it comes to uh, the possibilities of attacks through the network. And one of the things that I really like about the certification is that it brings a lot of uh, theory to practice. Um, I don't think that there is any other certification in the market today that focus on network security heavily as this one. Um, so I think that uh, it, it was really expanding uh, the scope of my knowledge to understand some of the key aspects of network security. and mainly how to have secure controls to mitigate uh, some of the threats that come from the network. Um, so this was a, a, a very interesting aspect of the certification that I, I really enjoy learning and uh, understanding some of the aspects and connecting the dots. Um, so it's very rich when it comes to network security content. Well, I think that this question is very similar. To, the answer is very similar to the previous one, to be honest with you, because um, the the interesting part and what really contributes is, is to create this framework of understanding about attacks that are hardly done through the network. Um, and, and, and by understanding those attacks, it helps you to build uh, the defense. So the certification not only covers the rationale of the attacks, but also provide countermeasures that you should have in place, uh, security controls, and always linking to the, the network infrastructure. So that's the unique part about the certification, um, which, I, as I said, I, I don't think there is another one in the market that look at network security with those lenses dedicated to uh, core network infrastructure security. Yeah, I, I've i done CCNA, CCNP more than 20 years ago, actually. And I have also CompTIA Network Plus. Uh, I had all those course network uh, certifications. The biggest difference is that uh, all the, the, the CCNA and CCNP track from Cisco is very heavily oriented to their product and core network infrastructure, technology and, and everything. And uh, Network Plus is kind of similar, but it's vendor agnostic uh, about core network uh, understanding. CND takes things to the next level. Right, it takes you to the next level because it assumes that first of all you already have that knowledge. Um, so you need to have a good network foundation to take uh, CND because it goes straight to network attacks in module one. So if you if you look at the table of contents, it goes straight to network attacks and go all the way to threat prediction and cyber threat intelligence. So the, the scope is very broad. 
but there is a lot of assumption. The assumption is, okay, you, you have your core network infrastructure knowledge, and now I'm gonna take you to the next level, which is to understand what network security is and what needs to be done to improve the defenses. Well, the network is, is the heart of uh, the infrastructure. Any infrastructure is on-premise or in the cloud. Any IT professional that wants to migrate to the cybersecurity or any professional that wants to migrate to cybersecurity, they must know network security infrastructure. It's, it's the foundation of everything. Sometimes uh, uh, a lot of people go straight to application security, ignoring network security, and there are gaps. So CND is a must-have type of certification to anyone that wants to uh, start in, in the cybersecurity field because it gives you this foundational knowledge that you're going to use throughout your entire career. Throughout your entire career in the cybersecurity field, you need to understand what network security is. You need to understand uh, the aspects of uh, uh, endpoint security from the network perspective, uh, IoT nowadays, mobile device, all those things are part of network security and uh, you must uh, have a good understanding of how those things connect uh, together from the network perspective. And CND brings this roadmap of knowledge uh, for you. So by the end of uh, the preparation for the exam, because I always emphasize that the journey is more important is more important that the day of the exam itself, because it's throughout the journey that you prepare for the exam. Once you get the certification, you, you acquire that knowledge that you're gonna use throughout your entire career. So it's uh, super important. I believe so. And the reason why I believe so is that I'm a big advocate that every, every IT professional should have knowledge in cybersecurity because cybersecurity should be uh, something that IT and the security department needs to speak the same language. So even if you are not going to work full time in cybersecurity, understanding those terminology, understanding how things work when it comes to network security is beneficial for your career, even if you are a pure IT professional, because it gives you the visibility. It allows you to have better conversations when, when you're talking to secure professionals and better understanding of the network uh, architecture. Um, so even if you are, for example, a, a, a cloud architect, well, a cloud architect has designed the cloud network infrastructure of uh, their customers and everything, you need to take into consideration some secure aspect. So it, it benefits everyone, uh, even if you are a pure IT professional. So I started working with uh, security. My first exposure to, to uh, information security was in 2005, uh, but I actually migrated completely to cyber in 2007. Uh, in 2007, I started working full time um, in, in, in one of the solutions that was related to firewall. So I was more network uh, security coincidentally uh, at that point and, uh, and and since 2007 working dedicated to these fields I moved to many other fields operating system security uh, and then nowadays cloud security so it has been an amazing journey it's a very challenging journey because if you uh, think about every day you are learning things. So if you, if you is the type of professional that um, don't like to be uncomfortable, you really need to change your mindset to be more comfortable in uncomfortable positions because you're gonna be in uncomfortable positions almost every day uh, when, because of the challenge in the threat landscape that we face, there is always something new it is always something that you have to learn. So it's a very dynamic uh, career, very exciting career as well. Um, because as I said, if you like learning, that's the place to be. You're always gonna be learning. And you should never assume that you know everything. You should always 
uh, be a student and be willing uh, to learn. And even the things that you know, listening and reading from a different perspective can also be beneficial. For example, when I took the uh, CND certification, I had a really strong network uh, background. I was already in the cybersecurity field and still I was dedicated student to read the material and to study for the exam. I didn't really ignore any module of the books I was reading and getting a different perspective. And I think that that's the key uh, in the cybersecurity uh, field. You have to be willing to always learn, relearn, learn from a different perspective. That's how you make your knowledge more uh, rich uh, and, and, and you are able to be a better professional. As I said, this certification I recommend for anyone moving to the cybersecurity field as one of the um, initial certifications that you should have uh, right after you acquire that foundational law knowledge in security, then you can advance to the next level, which is uh, network security specifically. Uh, because, as I said, the the content covering the exam goes all the way from basic network attacks and defensive strategy all the way to cyber threat intelligence and how to use that to protect your network. So it's very broad. You know, we are talking about 20 modules uh, for the CND course that prepares you to the exam. So it's very rich and it will expand uh, your knowledge. So it really benefits you uh, in your career. If you are a cybersecurity analyst, if you are a pen tester, really all uh, disciplines will benefit uh, from the certification because it's, it's the heart of the, of the uh, infrastructure, the network, everything passed through the network. So understanding uh, the threats that uh, go through the network and which uh, cyber defense you should have in place is, is very important. So everyone uh, should definitely think about taking the certification.